Welcome back to the channel, well, podcast, yeah, okay, um, I haven't recorded a podcast like this in um, a little while, because I was moving, and as you can tell, I have a whole new different setup, and uh, yeah, I'm in a new place, so I'm excited, I have a lot more new content coming out soon, I'm still gonna be doing like the breakdown videos with like the different clips and stuff in it because you guys seem to like those but i'm also going to be doing um more of these podcasts probably once a week yeah, hopefully once a week and then one of the breakdowns once a week so two videos a week um i'll be hopefully i'll hopefully be doing and so yeah there's since i've been gone there's been a lot happening in the nba as of late and actually just recently like Two minutes ago, I just saw that. Two hours ago. Um, that Dwight Howard possibly wants to return to the NBA. He says, um, Dwight Howard, he plays on the um, Taiwan Leopards now. I'll throw up a picture right here. Yeah, he plays on that team. He's absolutely, absolutely destroying in that league, in the Taiwan League. And he says, I'm not retired from the NBA just yet. I would love to help the Sacramento Kings contend for a title. Dwight Howard on the Sacramento Kings, I I would me personally I would love that one for the culture and just to grow the fandom, the fandom there in Sacramento. I feel like it'd be such a good fan favorite, and I mean, who doesn't like Dwight Howard? I mean, come on, and um, he's kind of exactly what we're looking for as kind of like a backup big man, because Domo, Domas can't play all forty eight minutes, even Jokic can't do that, so. And our backup big right now is Alex Len, and we refuse to play Rashawn Holmes, so we need a backup big, and I feel like Dwight Howard would be that, the perfect, you know, veteran championship um, level player that we could add on the bench that could really take us farther than where we went last season, hopefully. And not saying that that will fix this team and make this team, like, so much more better, but it will definitely help out a lot, I believe, because that's it's really the one position that the Kings really need to fill is the backup center spot and maybe um, the wing spot. So yeah, I just want to touch on that real quick. I thought that would be really cool if Dwight Howard came to the Kings. And I mean, Dwight Howard's been saying a lot of stuff lately, so maybe it's just him just saying stuff to say stuff, but um, it would be really cool if Dwight Howard went to the Kings. And another thing I would like to talk about is Victor would buy me on Victor... Victor Wem Bam Yama. I'm still trying to figure out how to say his name. It's kind of like how to figure out how to say Giannis's name. Um, he'll de- he'll debut in Sacramento for the NBA Summer League, and um, well, most likely because the San Antonio Spurs will draft Victor Wem Bam Yama, and um, the Summer League start the California Classic Summer League kind of thing is in Sacramento back again, not in uh, Golden State, because Golden State, that did not, it just wasn't good as in Sacramento. I went to the Sacramento one a few years back, when I think Kyle Guy was a rookie for the Kings, so yeah, that one was pretty cool. Um, Yeah, it's just a really cool experience, and it's cheap and just affordable for people to see just basketball in the Golden One Center, so yeah, I'm glad to have it back in Sacramento because it's just such a great environment there. And uh, I think um, if Victor plays, I think that would be a great place for him to debut. So I'll touch on that real quick. And uh, okay, what's the. Yeah, I want to talk about Adam Silver said in a press conference with Shaq, um, Charles Barkley, Grant Hill, and Kevin that. Um, they asked like a whole bunch of questions to Adam Silver, and he responded to them actually like really well, which was surprising because I feel like he would just be kind of hiding stuff, which he didn't answer some of the questions for good reasons. You can go watch the video. I'll probably have a link in the in the description somewhere, but yeah, definitely go check that out. It's a great interview if you want to see what Adam Silver might be planning for the future of the NBA. And he he said, um, what did he say? Yes, he said that they're. Um, so when they're done with their media, extending their media rights stuff and making the NBA games more accessible, because we know it's kind of a pain to watch NBA games, um, that they'll maybe plan on adding some expansion teams 
They don't really know yet. They don't have a preference, but I'm guessing it might be Seattle or Las Vegas because Seattle really wants a team back. And since um, the A's and the Raiders are in Las Vegas, all they need is a really just a basketball team to, to kind of complete that little area, I guess. And he also talked about an in-season tournament that all 30 teams will compete in. Um, it's like in the middle of the season, and it's to kind of like um, give some more energy to in the in the middle of the season besides the All Star weekend because some people and players don't really like that, and to just have something to compete for other than just a, a championship. And he said there's going to be a significant amount of prize money and like another trophy, like the Larry O'Brien one. So I think that'd be cool just for um, teams other than the top teams to kind of just compete for other than, like I said, a championship. So, yeah, it sounds like some cool things Adam Silver and his team might have coming soon in these next in this next decade of the NBA, hopefully sooner, um, at least the midseason tournament, because it sounds like they have a lot of good ideas for that. Um, but, yeah, those are kind of the big things that have happened in the NBA. Let's talk NBA Finals. Um, okay, so Heat versus Nuggets. Um, game three, I believe, is tomorrow. This video will be out tomorrow, so I might be a little late to um, it, but I don't know. So the two just tied up 1-1. Nuggets could have won the second game um, pretty easily. They just choked at the end, and um, key role players for the Heat stepped up at the end of that fourth quarter in game two. Um, yeah, the the Nuggets were winning basically the whole game in game two, but the Heat kind of pulled themselves together, and there's their confidence and culture there. They could really um, accomplish anything. No matter how talented their team is, they could accomplish a lot with just the way they um, they talk about themselves and just play together as a team. So they're a really good team. Like They play well as a team. I guess what I'm trying to say. And... Nicole Jokic, he's been doing his thing, you know, probably going to be the triple-double leader um, before he retires, and Jamal Murray, man, he's been great, absolutely amazing in the playoffs, especially in the finals, um, Aaron Gordon said, where do you rank um, Nicole Jokic and Jamal Murray as duos in the NBA right now? He said at least top three, and they're not two or three, so his teammates, um, I could see that they, they love them, that they're just really good players and they play really well together so that's kind of a little hot take by Aaron Gordon but I mean what else are you gonna say um you're, you're their teammate so but yeah they've been doing really good in the playoffs and so yeah and Jimmy I also want to talk about Jimmy Butler a little bit because he's been doing he's been on a tear this playoffs um and finals he's kind of carried his team him and those um bench players <laughs> Gabe Vincent um What's his name? Caleb Martin. I don't even know their names. That's how, like, no one knows about them before the playoffs. So, yeah, they've been really carrying this team. And Jimmy Butler has just been doing an amazing job helping his team get to where they are. He's just really confident in his ability and his team's ability to win. And that's ultimately what you need to be able to get that far is the confidence that you can do it. Because if you're not confident that you can get to that point, you're, n you're never going to get there. So... Yeah, both teams are really good. There, it was um, obvious in the playoffs that these are the two teams that will pull through. Well, at least the Nuggets, the Heat were kind of a question mark because just because of the just because they're the eighth seed and they had to play the Celtics. But yeah, the Nuggets all season and all playoffs um, looked like they were going to the finals, and the Heat were just the surprise of the playoffs because of just their culture and how they um, work together as a team. So. That's kind of just one of the, what I wanted to talk about on today's podcast. I'm going to get back to doing more of the um, breakdowns um, and more of these kind of podcasts like, but I'll do maybe more longer ones. And you can now listen to audio of it on YouTube Music. And um, so you could just don't have to watch the video, especially for these kind of podcast episodes because there's no like clips playing in the background or stuff. So make sure to go check that out. I'll also have a link in the description for that, um, for the YouTube music audio, and, um, that's gonna be it, that's what I wanted to talk about on here, this is kind of like a, um, as soon as I saw the Dwight Howard information, I was like, oh man, I gotta make a quick little video, so yeah, that's just what I wanted to talk about on this episode, and, uh, I'll keep you guys coming with more videos, and I'll see you guys, in wait,
hold on real quick i am making if you guys don't already know i have um kind of like a zine company thing that i'm kind of building i made my first one um about a few months ago I'll put um, a picture or something up, probably not, maybe, I don't know. But I'm working on my second one, and that one will be coming out soon. And I'll show you guys maybe behind the scenes video on how I'm making those. So, yeah, if you guys want that video, make sure to um, keep watching the videos to, keep, to stay updated on it. And um, that's all I wanted to really talk about for this video. And I'll see you guys after the finals, or maybe if they goes to game seven or something whenever i'll i'll make another finals video sometime soon so i'll see you guys next time